Hey guys, Lois Tech here back again with another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to play your Steam games on your Nintendo Switch. So what you want to need in this guide is Android. So in Hakate, we're going to go and launch Android. Now to get Android, you want to follow my guide I made a few videos ago. And that's how I showed you how to install Android on your Nintendo Switch with Open Gaps. Now you want to make sure you have Open Gaps installed on this, otherwise it's not going to work as well. So let's wait for the Android OS to boot up, and then I'll show you what to do once you have gotten into that. Once we're over here, what you want to do is you want to press Play Store. And once you're in Play Store, what you want to do is you want to wait for this to load up, and you know, for sign into your Play Store. From here, what you want to do is you want to go and search for Steam Link. Once you're on Steam Link, what you want to do over here is you just want to press Install. And we're going to wait for this to download. Uh, let's press install real quick. And we're going to press continue. And now it's installing. So while this is installing, we're going to go on the computer and I'm going to show you what to do from there. Before we go on the computer, what you want to actually do is you want to launch the app and you just want to press start playing. So what you want to do is you want to press your computer right here so as you can see i'm right here then on your computer you just want to type in the pin that shows so we won't even be needing to use our computer that much for this guy so we're just going to press the pin and we're going to press confirm you want to make sure that you're on the same network because if you're not on the same network this guide is not going to work at all so we're going to wait for this to work and it's going to do a little network test and it should tell you if it's good or not so we're just going to wait for this to finish and once this is done we're going to press ok and we're going to press start playing Now you can see that we have the whole thing right here. You can see that if you put four fingers here, it does the whole menu here. We're just going to press backspace though because we do not need this. So we're going to just put this down. So we're going to go back. I don't know why this is not going back, but we're just going to go back here. And there we go. So as you can see, this whole thing works and it's pretty cool. So right here we have our Steam thing. And as you can see, if it shows red right here, that doesn't mean that it's working. So we're just going to reconnect one more time. So let's wait for this to reconnect and press start playing again. As you can see, it booted up one more time. So as you can see, the joysticks work. See so if I go here, there, and there we go. It's like a whole Steam Deck now over here. You got basically Steam Deck OS. You can change the aspect ratios over here to make it fit better. And you can just do that in your settings. So if you go to the menu oh that's not it if you go back here as you can see you just go onto the menu which i think it's one of these buttons right here yep so if you go on the menu you can change the settings around and it's pretty cool what you can do from here we can go even use a touchscreen for this so we're gonna go on menu right here and you can see we have our whole window right here too basically you can do whatever you want on this and for me, if I feel like playing a game like this, I can play it like this. So we're going to just launch Forza real quick. And there we go. So let's launch Forza. And I'll get back to you when this is done loading. Now, as you can see, the game is working perfectly fine. And here it is right here, just loading up like that. And it works pretty fine, as you can see. It's going to load a little loading screen right here. And we'll just wait for this to finish loading this thing. And there we go. The aspect ratios, once again, you can change. You just got to do that in your settings. But for me, I'm not going to use this feature as much. So to me, it doesn't matter because I have a Steam Deck. But this is still a cool thing to do where you can play your Steam games on your Nintendo Switch. So I hope that this video did help you out. And if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. So yeah, goodbye.